Hello everyone. Today we'll be talking about e-verifying our ITR on the new income tax portal. Filing your ITR is not the last step of the process. It is equally important to e-verify your ITR. The income tax department only processes those returns that have completed the verification process. Also, only a verified ITR is eligible for refund. So let us go ahead and see how we can e-verify our ITR on the new income tax portal. Now, we can e-verify it either by logging in or without logging in on the new income tax portal. We'll go through both the ways. First off, we'll see how we can e-verify our ITR without logging in. However, kindly remember for this step, you need to know the acknowledgement number of your filed ITR. First up, visit incometax.gov.in. Once you're there, scroll down and click on e-verify. Next up, fill in your details like your PAN, your assessment year, your acknowledgement number and your phone number. Once done, click on continue. Next up, fill in the OTP that you have received on your mobile number. Click on submit. Now you will be redirected to this screen where you can see that there are several options that are listed through which you can e-verify your ITR. We'll come to this in a while. Now we'll see how we can e-verify by logging in. So, log in. I'll be logging in through my PAN. Click on continue. Confirm the security message, put in your password and click on continue. Once you're there, go to e-file. Under e-file, go to income tax return and click on e-verify returns. Once you're there, go ahead and click on e-verify. Now you can see that we have been redirected to that very page which lists down the several means through which we can e-verify our ITR. We will go through some of these means now. Now, let's see how we can e-verify using Aadhaar OTP. Kindly remember, in order to verify through this process, you will be required to link your Aadhaar to your registered mobile number. So, on the page select, I would like to verify using OTP on the mobile number registered with Aadhaar and click on continue. On the Aadhaar OTP page, select the I agree to validate my Aadhaar details checkbox and click Generate Aadhaar OTP. Enter the six-digit OTP received on your mobile number and click on Validate. Next up, we'll see how to e-verify using a bank account. For this, you need to pre-validate your bank account on the new income tax portal. To know how you can do that, check the link in the description box given below. So, on the page, Select through bank account and click on continue. Next, enter the EVC received on your mobile number at email ID and click on e-verify. Next up, we'll see how to e-verify using net banking. For this, you need to have your PAN linked with the bank account and also make sure that net banking is available for the preferred bank accounts. So on the page, select through net banking and click on continue. Select the bank through which you want to e-verify and click continue. Log into your net banking and then click the link to log into e-filing from your bank's website. On successful login, you will be taken to the e-filing dashboard. Go to the respective ITR for service and click e-verify. In case you don't want to electronically verify your ITR, you can physically verify it. You will have to send a signed copy of the ITR acknowledgement form to the income tax department. If you liked this video and found this useful, give us a thumbs up and share it. For more such content, subscribe to Quicko. We are Quicko on a mission to simplify taxes for all.